Hello guys. In this video, I will show you how to create a new project, complete with sequence. This is the important thing, that you need to do before start any project. Please be aware, once you have done with this setting, you cannot change during editing. So, you need to do it very carefully. Let's get start with this tutorial. First, open Adobe Premiere software. You will see this interface. This is the first landing area you will see. This area include your recent project file. So, if you want to edit a project that was not done before. This is the best way fast trick to open it. Click new project button on the left side. You will see this pop up. This pop up got so many setting. But, don't worry. This pop up have default setting by this software. The default setting also has a very high quality editing setup. In this part, write the name of the project first. The important you need to know, you need to write the last title. It is important because, if you edit the title during editing, it can make a conflict with your root of file project. The next part is, project file location. You can save to a specific location that you want. For me, I will save first in the desktop until the project was fully finished. Click browse file to find the location. In this pop-up window, you can see the file. The simple tips I want to give you is, save the project in the SSD, storage. It can make a speed faster when editing. In this pop-up windows, you can also make a new file by just right-click and click new folder. It will appear in this pop-up, then choose it. Click select folder to confirm it. The next part is, renderer part. Renderer part, the best recommend is just choose Mercury playback engine. This is the important that control the speed of render during editing and during last part to export the project to final video. The next part is preview cache. Preview cache setting just leave it to default. The next part is display format. Display format just choose to timecode. Now we go to the next display format setting. This format setting to audio samples. The next setting is capture format. Capture format just choose DV capture format. Now we go to the next part of setting. Scratch disks. In this interface, you can see so many settings. Scratch disk setting is all about the disk that will we use in the whole editing process. So, if you choose the part for storage in SSD storage, the editing process will be more smooth. Now we go to this setting one by one. First, captured video. The setting is just same as project. It will save in the same folder that you saved the project file before this. The second, captured audio. The setting is just same as project. It will save in the same folder that you saved the project file before this. The third, video previews. The setting is also just same as project. It will save in the same folder that you saved the project file before this. The fourth, 
Audio preview. The setting is also just same as project. It will save in the same folder that you save the project file before this. The fifth. Project auto saves. The setting is also just same as project. It will save in the same folder that you save the project file before this. The sixth. CC libraries download. The setting is also just same as project. It will save in the same folder that you save the project file before this. The seventh. Motion graphics template media. The setting is also just same as project. It will save in the same folder that you save the project file before this. The next part we will go through is in just setting. In this part, just leave it as default because I think this is enough for high quality video editing. Now perfect, you have a perfect setting in this section. Now, after confirm, just click OK, to continue. Now, after click OK you will bring to this interface. You will see so many tab and panel here. But don't worry. Just enjoy to play with this software. I will guide you until advance. In this section, you will see source panel, effect control panel, audio clip mixer panel, metadata panel, program panel, timeline panel, project panel, media browser panel, libraries panel, info panel, effects panel, and markers panel. In the timeline panel, you will see the timeline is empty. There is no timecode or any line or graph here. You will see this after you add a sequence. Let's take a break and look around this interface before we go to sequence setting. What is Sequence in Adobe Premiere? Sequence is an individual video timeline. Typically, this means a single video is edited on a single sequence. Sometimes, editors edit multiple videos in a single sequence, but that's not necessarily a best practice. So for the best editing and rendering and the best final result, you should setting the sequence with the best setup. I will give in a complete tutorial and description how to set up a sequence on your project. To add sequence, click File. Then click New. You will see Sequence, then click it. After you done it, you will see this pop up. In this pop up, it will show you Available presets that is suitable according to your video resolution and final export video resolution. Here, you will see so many resolution available. I will show you which is the important presets that you need to know that I think you will always use after this. Now, I will explain about HDV section first. 
HDV is a resolution that you can use in 1080 and 720. This resolution always used by editing for uploading to social media platform like Facebook, TikTok or on your own YouTube channel. This is standard resolution that will give you a high definition video with a small size than other high format. This resolution is also used for editing footage from a middle performance camera that can record maximum 1080 resolution. Aspect ratio for this resolution is 16 on 9. And you can also choose the frame rate 24, 25 or 30. Now we go through to the Red R3D section. This section resolution is very suitable for editing on high-end computer. In this section, you will see the available as resolution as 4K and 5 Kelvins. So, for the person that want to edit in high resolution, you need to choose this section. The aspect ratio for this section is 16 on 9. So the video is on horizontal position. For your information, this section is not suitable for middle performance computer. It will make us stuck during editing and make us stuck during rendering and exporting on the final part of project. Now for the next important part we go to ARRI, section. This section is good for person that want to make a video with vertical position. Sometime, there are some production want a video in vertical position because it can look perfect in some platform for example, TikTok, Reel on Instagram and Shorts on YouTube. In this section, you can select manually the size of video. On this section you can also edit a video in horizontal. So, for the person that want to edit in vertical position. So, you need to choose this section. After you have choose the perfect resolution setup suitable for you. Just click OK button below. Done. Now you can see the interface was changed. In this interface you can see the timeline with a time indicator. You also see a layer that you can put audio and video. Before we end this tutorial, I want to give you some free tips. Before you start the project, I want to remind you to reset the workspace layout. To do this, just click Window, Workspace then click Reset to save layout. It can make a comfortable workspace for you to do editing without an unknown item. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and you can understand all the part. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for more tutorials.